Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Fraser Field for Interleague Baseball. St. Mary's. A big one for St. Mary's if they win, they would officially qualify for the state tournament. They're nine and five. They're taking on a very good Milton team who is 12 and two. And one of their two losses was to the, a team that also beat St. Mary's, Austin Prep, who's beating everybody right now. And that was a very close once and nothing game. So Milton's very, very good. Milton 12 and two, St. Mary's nine and five. As we're getting close, we have just about a week left, two weeks. This being Friday the 13th, it'll be, a, it'll be a jinx for somebody. Jimmy Fallon, the third baseman, will lead it off for Milton. So this is the 13th. We've got two weeks left. And this is the first time we've had very good weather. Chop foul behind home plate. Eric Bridges on the mound. Throwing to John Nowicki, the catcher. So the weather has not cooperated. Down the way for a ball. We were here yesterday. Tech played Kip two five inning games, double header. Second game, you couldn't see Manning Field. You couldn't see the scoreboard. The fog was so thick. They called it at the end of four innings, the second game. It's just clear blue sky, bright sunshine. Line to center field. Giadina gets a great jump and makes the play. They put him in center field. He was started out right field. He shifted at the center, and he has been outstanding out there. You can't hit it any better than foul and hit it. And Giadina makes a great running catch, taking at least a hit, maybe extra bases away. Shay Donovan, the catcher, will be the hitter. He lines it to left field. A couple of steps to a right. Jason Donahue makes the play. So two solid shots by Milton starting the game. The first baseman, number 15, Charles Walker. And for their efforts, they get two outs. Charles Walker, the first baseman, will be the hitter. Now, if he can hit a line shot to right field, we'll hit the trifecta. And he almost did. He hit it to the right side. <laughs> Drop the shot. Big hop for Cabral. He's got that rifle arm. So one, two, three inning for Bridges and St. Mary's. So two solid shots by Milton are outs the ground ball. You love those Sunday hops if you're an infielder. And Cabral just a rifle shot over to the first baseman McGonagall. A quick one, two, three inning for Bridges and St. Mary's. Brian Foley is on the mound, and he'll be throwing to Shade Donovan, sort of like a, an Irish connection for Milton. For St. Mary's, it'll be Tad Giardina, the center fielder, leading off. Jack Marks is in right field, batting second. The shortstop, Avon Cabral, hits number three. Batting fourth in the cleanup spot is Tommy Falaska, the third baseman. Catching and batting fifth, John Nowicki. The first baseman, Cam McGonagall, will hit number six. Playing second base and playing left field, Zach Fisher. Jason Donahue, 
who actually won the game, the last game for St. Mary's against Ellington Catholic. He got two big two-out singles, knocking in three runs. St. Mary's coming from behind and knocking off Ellington Catholic four to three. Pat Giardina had the other two out, hit a double to knock in one run for the four runs. So Donnie will hit number eight. Batting ninth, DHing is Justin Jennings hitting for the pitcher, Eric Bridges. So Milton has brought a few fans for this early Friday afternoon. St. Mary's has a few. And uh, nice day. It's nice to see people in short sleeves and shorts, not wearing five layers of clothes the way it's been for 99% of this year. Leading off the same area in the bottom of the first, center field number three, Chad Yadina. I know Milton has a couple of players. One, they're going to be going to Northeastern with Avon Cabral. I don't know if they're both, I know at least one is a pitcher and they both might be pitchers. So they are very, very strong. I've been told the pitcher Foley is going to Lowell. In for a strike. He can bring it. Popped up. The pitcher makes the call and makes the catch. The right fielder, number five, Jack Marks. Jack Marks, the right fielder. I mentioned again, had a very good football season. Coach Driscoll's happy to have him back at tight end and defensive end. It's in for a strike. Didn't miss by much, one on one. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. The one-two pitch up and coming. Hit foul, going the other way off to the left side. Strike three called. Handcuff marks. Two up, two down for Aiden Cabral. Aiden is the shortstop. Way up and away. Aiden, we missed to go to Northeastern. And he's had a great career. He's helped St. Mary's to win championships. In the field, on the mound, and at bat. Finishing up a great career. And he's a terrific young man. Northeast is getting a very good one. High for ball three. He goes after the 3-0 pitch and fouls it off. He draws a walk. So 
Well, the first base runner is a walk to Cabral. It'll bring up Tommy Falasca, the third baseman. Wide for a ball. Breaks down in the turf, 2-0. Just missed outside, 3-0. and oh. So two quick outs, he walks for Brown, he falls behind 3-0 and oh to Falaska. In for a strike, as you would expect Falaska taken all the way. He'll still be fussy here with this pitch with the count 3-1. and one. Cabral takes off, the ball's hit foul. And he'll go back to first base. Uh, we'll have a three and two count. So he can be off and running now with the pitch. First baseman not holding him on so he can get a much bigger lead. Wide for ball four. So two, two out walks, put runners at first and second. John Nowicki, the catcher, will be the hitter. John also does some work on the mound. He's a junior, they only have four seniors. Boy, if he threw that ball a little quicker, he was out at second base. He was way off the bag and, uh, and looking to take another extra step. And they were just a millimeter short getting the ball over there. In for a strike. High for a ball. So maybe the next game will be in the Catholic Central League Cup Tournament. They'll be going to Bishop Stang. Down and away for a ball. That lot of leagues started the interleague tournament. Greater Boston League, Cape Ann. Northeastern Conference, a lot of teams started that a couple of years ago with COVID wiping out state tournaments. Almost everybody canceled it with the state tournament back, but the Catholic Central League kept it in all their sports. And they take the top, they're divided in two divisions, they take the top two teams in each division. And they play a single elimination tournament. So St. Mary's will play the number one team out west, Bishop Stang. And that's another walk, three walks in a row. First Have loaded the bases. And that brings a trip out to the mound. Foley overthrowing just a bit. He took, he took part in both outs very quickly. A pop up to the pitcher and a call third strike. Looked like an easy inning and then all of a sudden Walks to Cabral, Falasca, and Nowicki have blown them up for Cam McGonagall, the first baseman. Cam is only a ninth grader. 
They got a couple of eighth graders, and one of them, one of the eighth graders is a DH in this game today. Justin Jennings. High for a ball. So bases loaded with Spartans here in the bottom of the first. In for a strike, one on one. Swing and a miss. One and two. McGonagall, one swing of the bat away from giving St. Mary's a lead. Foley, one pitch away from getting out of a jam. Swing and a miss, he gets him. So he's involved in all three outs. He gave his coaches a few gray hairs. He struck out two in between. He walked three in a row. St. Mary's will leave the bases loaded. So he was involved in all three, the, the pop-up, two strikeouts. We've ended the first inning in this interleague battle. And we're right back where we started. St. Mary's nothing, Milton nothing in the end of one. Owen McHugh, the shortstop, leads it off. This is hard for a ball from Bridges. So St. Mary's came close, bases loaded on three walks, but the walks came with two outs. In for a strike. And Foley survived the first inning, getting his second strikeout. Hit to third. Velasquez also got a strong arm. That's a strong left side. McHugh bounces out five to three. Jack Finnegan, the left fielder, will be the hitter. Swing and a miss. Well, the place is filling up a little bit. A little decent crowd for this one on a Friday afternoon. A few more people coming in. Swing and a miss again. Quickly, two strikes. Chopped that one to center field. Long run for Giardini. Not going to get there. It's in the gap. All the way back to the warning track. He's going to keep going. Diving in at third. He's got the first hit of the game, and it's a triple. So he missed the first two pitches by a pretty good margin. But he didn't miss that one. He kind of golfed it. It almost looked like a inside swing. And he ripped it at the left center field for a long triple. And Ryan Dexter, the DH, hitting for the pitcher, will be the hitter. As now it's Milton looking to get on the board first. In for a strike. They shortened up at first and third. Back at regular depth at second and short. Swing and a miss, he chased that high pitch up and in. Quickly 0-2. Nowicki set up outside, good waste pitch. Trying to get Dexter to chase, he laid off, it didn't miss by much. One and two. Just got a piece and stays alive. We'll do it again at one and two. As usual, action going off at Manning Field. It might be a practice to track. Or Up and away for a ball. The count evens at two. He hits.
hits him on the shoulder. So the hit batsman makes it first and third with one out. Greg Domino, the right fielder. So first and third. In for a strike, finally the first fake like he was going. Milton are the Wildcats against the Spartans. Diving back at first is Dexter. I'm not sure what league Milton is in. If one takes so off, they don't bother throwing it. So it becomes second and third with one out. Up and away for a ball. Fouled to the backstop. Even as the count at two. Domino would love to get a base hit. Put Milton on top. Bridges would love to get a third strike here. They shot up a little bit in the infield. Waved at that pitch. It was down and away. That's a big out. So the first strikeout is big, and Ryan Kelly, the second baseman, will be the hitter. They leave it up to him. So now it's second, third with two outs. High for the ball. In for a strike. Bridges can bring it. He's only a sophomore. He had a really good year last year coming on as a freshman. Really pitched well, especially in the state tournament. When St. Mary's won the states, he was a big part of that. Another strike. So here we go again. Kelly, one swing on the bat from putting Milton on top. Bridges, one strike away from getting out of a jam. Waves at the pitch, so Bridges comes through with two big strikeouts. And at the end of one and a half, we have scored. The leadoff triple, or the one out triple by Finnegan, followed by the hit batsman, the stolen base, both stranded at second and third as Bridges comes through with two big strikeouts. His first two of the game, but they came at opportune times. So both teams. Threatens the score. Both teams are shut down by the pitching. And St. Mary's again will have a chance to get out front. It'll be the bottom three in the order, seven, eight, and nine. Zach Fisher, Jason Donahue, and Justin Jennings to face Brian Foley, who will be starting his second inning of work. 
St. Mary's will be taking part in a couple of weeks in the first Dougie Mullins baseball tournament here at Manning Field, named after the outstanding young man. We lost him way too early, a terrific talent. He was a player at Classical, assistant coach at English. He took over the English range when Joe Caponegro went to Swampscott, and he's done, he did a terrific job with, with the kids. He is a great young man, terrific family man, and was a great friend to a lot of people. And unfortunately, he passed away at a very young age. So they're going to honor him with the tournament on the 27th and 28th, Friday afternoon and starting Saturday morning here at Fraser Field. Zach Fisher, the second baseman, one of the seniors on this, one of four seniors on this team. Fishing inside for a ball. In for a strike, one on one. Up the middle. Nice play by the shortstop. He's got an arm and a half, too. Owen McHugh went way to his left, fielded it close to the second base bag and threw a strike over to the first baseman Walker. That's a very nice defensive play. Six to three for the first out. Jason Donahue, the, the left fielder. Another one of those seniors. We mentioned yesterday, uh, uh, not yesterday, Monday, or Wednesday, a couple of days ago anyway. St. Mary's played Arlington Catholic here and all four of their runs came with two out hits. Jason Donahue got two big two out hits to knock in three runs. And he beat Arlington Catholic four to three. Tad Giardina had a double knock in the, the first run with two outs. So all four came with two outs. That one hung inside. Chop foul behind home plate. Your fans still coming in. Again, nice little crowd. Chased that pitch up and then swung right through it. So three of the five outs have been strikeouts. The other one was a pop-up to the pitcher. He's, got f he's involved in four of the five outs. Curveball stepping back away was Jennings. We told you, he's, Jennings is a young eighth grader. Foul tip held on to by the catcher. High for a ball. Call third strike. So St. Mary's is down one, two, three in the second. Foley has been involved in five of the six outs, four strikeouts and a pop-up to the pitcher. The only other out was a ground ball to short. So we played two, still nothing to choose between these two teams. St. Mary's nothing, Milton nothing at the end of two. Marcus Oliveri. Nine, one and two for Milton as we start the third inning. Marcus Oliveri. Solid shot to get out in front just enough to pull it foul. He's the center fielder that would be back to the top of the order.
Eric Bruce is starting his third inning of work. Solid shot at the left field for a base hit. So Milton gets the first hitter on base. He'll bring up the third baseman, Jimmy Fallon, who hit a shot and a half to left center field, and Tad Giardina took it away. Tad Giardina made a nice running catch in left center field to take at least a hit, probably extra bases away. So he's up for the second time here in the third inning with a runner at first and nobody out. The runner takes off, and there was nobody at second base. Cabral went to back up the bag. Fisher wasn't at the bag. There was nobody there to take the throw. And Oliveri is in scoring position with nobody out. Pitching wide for a ball. So Milton went out one, two, three in the third, but they got a triple and a hit passman, but Bridges got a couple of strikeouts. They threatened, but now they're threatening again and runner in second with nobody out. Hit. Velasca had to go over his head. He made the play. He, was, he wound up in foul territory. He had no chance to throw. Fallon out. So back to back hits after the stolen base. Have put runs at first and second. Shade Donovan, the catcher, hit a shot right at the left fielder, Donahue. So he hit the ball extremely hard and had nothing to show for it. Now he's up with first and second and nobody out. I was just about to say, let's see if they play small ball. He squared the bunt, took the pitch for a strike. They're leaving Falaska anchored at third. McGonagall and the pitcher are charging the bunt. Try to bunt again. Takes it low for a ball. Two on, nobody out here in the third. Milton against St. Mary's. The Wildcats of Milton against the Spartans of St. Mary's. Interleague. Waves at that pitch that was down and away. And it's one and two. So the umpire... Saw one of the players out of the dugout. Called time and told to get back in the dugout. The one two pitch up and coming. They were scooting to get behind the runner at second. They threw it over to first, but getting back standing up was Fallon. Solid shot in the left field for a base hit. They're going to call interference. The runner going to third ran into the third baseman, Falaska. Falaska went down. The umpires are going to get together. They were sending him home. A solid shot by Donovan. Let's see what they do. They were waving him home, and he stays at third, so the bases are loaded. So St. Mary's had the bases loaded, but with two outs. Milton has the bases loaded with no outs, and Milton coach is out questioning why he's not being awarded home plate. 
The question is, the, th the throw was coming, would it have been in time, would the run score? The umpire is ex trying to explain to the Milton coach. And now they're gonna, umpires are gonna get together again. They've already made one ruling. Milton coach is trying to get them to change that. Right now it's the bases loaded and nobody out. And that's the way it's gonna stay, I think. And Milton Coach plea, <laughs> pleading his case, he's really going after the umpire, but he's gonna wind up on the short end. Charles Walker grounded out, short to first. St. Mary's will bring their infield in. Milton fans getting into it now with the bases loaded and nobody out. In for a strike. So they brought the infield in, now they move short and second back at double play depth. He had a solid shot, but it went right to the shortstop and he got thrown out. Hit a long way over everybody's head. Everybody waiting to see if it would be caught. It wasn't because it's out of the park. It's a grand slam. First one we've seen this year. So now they can celebrate the runner does come home from third. A grand slam by Charles Walker. A solid shot. So the first four get base hits and solid hits. Hit in the air. Long run in foul territory. Slipping and falling. Didn't make the catch. Great effort by McGonagall. He was there and he just slipped, went down and tried to make it sitting down and it went off his glove. So Owen McHugh gets a life. He's grounded out third to first this one trip. So a solid shot and a half by Charles Walker over the fence in left center field. And that's the first one we've seen this year hit out of the park. And yeah, we never have too many. In for a strike. And Milton grabs a quick four nothing lead. So the coach will settle now for the runner being held at third base as he smiles the grand slam. Just missing outside. Lined in the center field for a base hit. The beat goes on for Milton. He's in on Texas Leaguers, these are solid shots. Jack Finnegan, the left fielder, tripled. He hit a shot to the warning track in left center field. He wound up with a triple and got stranded at third base. Hit in the air to right field. Jack Marks backing up, makes the play. So Finnegan went the other way with it for the first out of the inning. He hit it well. Ryan Dexter, the DH. Hitting for the pitcher Foley. Got hit by a pitch. Hit in the air again. Long run for Fisher. Marks coming on, calls him off and makes his second play. So Mills not wasting time, they're swinging the bat. Greg Domino struck out swinging his one trip. He's the eighth hitter in the inning and the first four in the inning scored. Diving back at first is McHugh.
I don't think there's any question stealing second base. Off and running. Hit the ball to second. Fisher to Cabral. They get the force out. So they finally get out of the inning. But Milton made them pay. Five hits in the inning. Four of them score on the grand slam by Charles Walker. And that's the difference as we move into the bottom of the third. St. Mary's now has the mountains to climb. They trail four to nothing. And the coach for Milton is still talking to the umpire about, about the interference play. There was no question the base umpire signaled interference. And I think what you're saying is if he's out at third, he's not going to be out. They weren't going to give him home plate. And he didn't. But he got it anyway on the grand slam. But for future reference, I think the Milton coach is trying to get an explanation. They tap each other on the shoulder there. Happy with each other. So a happy ending for the coach and the umpire. Top of the order for St. Mary's as we start the bottom of the third inning. This being Friday the 13th, we'll have a rare doubleheader tomorrow. Tech and Lynn English will play baseball here in the morning. As we try to get these games in. Drop off the foot of Giardina foul. So the second time around for St. Mary's against Brian Foley. In for a strike, quickly 0-2. Get out in front of it, hit it well, but pulled it foul past third base. Well, the count stays 0-2 to the Spartan center fielder. Jammed him in on the hands and he fouls it back up in the seats. Hit in the left center field. Nice job by the left fielder. Takes a base hit. Jack Finnegan with a nice play. Got, had to go a long way to his left. And he takes a base hit away from Giardina. Jack Mox was called on on strikes his first time. Tries to drag the bunt, fouls it back. That's the first solid hit by St. Mary's, that line shot. And Finnegan, the left fielder, made a nice play taking it away. That one go off the catcher's glove to the backstop. Marks is the right fielder. Swing and a miss. They check with the base on by the see if he got, might have got a piece of it. They say no. The shot stop, number 15, Haven Cabral. 
five strikeouts for Foley. So again, he's been involved in six of the outs, five strikeouts in that pop-up. The first batter in the first inning he, that he caught. High for the ball. Avon Cabral reached on a walk the first of three in a row that Foley gave up in the first inning, but then got out of it. Fishing wide for a ball, 2-0. and Missed again, 3-0. and He walks Cabral on four pitches. After those three walks in the first inning, he had retired seven in a row. Four of them by strikeouts. Now he ends that streak with a walk. Tommy Falasco drew the second walk in the first inning. So all the base runners so far have been bases on balls. In for a strike. Just a little lob toss. That's not the good move. We hope you think that's the good move so you get way off the bag and we can pick you off. Cabral takes off, they throw it down. Out. Nice tag by the second baseman, Kelly. So he picks up his fourth walk, but the walk is thrown out trying to steal second base. We finish three complete here at Frazier Field in this interleague battle. The difference is the grand slam home run by Charles Walker. It's 4 nothing Milton over St. Mary's at the end of three. Eight, nine, and one for Milton as we start the fourth inning. Brian Kelly was the strikeout victim his first at bat. In for a strike. Bridges starting his fourth inning of work. This squad. Bruce has given up six hits. Five of them came back to back to back to back in the fourth inning. And one of them, the grand slam. Hit the third. Velasquez does a nice job. Very well, A high chopper. He scooped up the off hop. Didn't wait for the bounce in his lap. He went down, played the off hop, and throws Kelly out. Nice defensive play by Falasca. Marcus Oliveri started the four run uprising. He got the first hit in the inning. And he, he was the runner going to third that they interfered with, that coach argued that he should have been home. They didn't give it to him, but he scored anyway. Giudina started back, now he has to come on, and it drops in for a base hit. He started back on the play, and then realized it wasn't going that far, and Oliveri has got his second hit. Third baseman, number 13, Jimmy Fallon. So they didn't give him home on the interference, but he walked home on the grand slam home run by Charles Walker. Jimmy Fallon got the second of the five straight hits in the fourth inning, third inning. Great play by Falaska. Safe at first base. Falaska was gonna go to second initially, and he didn't have a play, and then by the time he threw it to first, Fallon beat it, and Derek Dana was coming out to question the base umpire on the call. So now both 
coaches get to talk to the umpires. They're going to go to the plate umpire. Out at first base. Now here comes the Milton coach. So now the Milton coach, who just made amends with the home plate umpire, and they shook hands and tapped each other on the shoulder, now the plate umpire is making the call at first base, and he's calling them out, and now the Milton coach is coming out. He's got a, a little to do with them again. So now, now, So it's two outs and a runner at second. And the Milton coach goes back, and now the Milton goes to the, and he played up at, uh, at odds again. They made amends. Down the way for a ball. Shea Donovan is lined to left field, singled and scored. He got the third of those five straight hits that Milton got in the third inning. Way wide, nice shot by Nowicki to go get it. Fishing wide. In for a strike. Hit the third. Velasco with another nice play. He made all three plays in that inning. So the leadoff hit goes by the boards. At the end of four and a half. Milton four, St. Mary's nothing. So we're halfway through the ball game. That grand slam home run, the difference. Four nothing Milton as we go into the bottom of the fourth. It'll be four, five, and six for St. Mary's as we start the bottom of the fourth inning. They've had four base runners. All four have been walks, two of them to Cabral. And Foley had retired six in a row before giving up the walk to Cabral, but then Cabral got thrown out trying to steal second base. So Tommy Falasco, who was at bat, when Cabral got thrown out, will be back at the plate leading off the bottom of the fourth. He's made some very nice plays in the infield. He's got four assists. So Foley will be starting his fourth inning. Closest. Closest. 
race for number eight, Tommy Palasco. The closest thing to a hit was Giadina's line shot. Hit the left fielder, Jack Finnegan, made a nice running catch on in left center field. Other than that, it's been strikeouts and a pop up to the pitcher. Swing and a miss. In on the hands, he swung right through it quickly at so and two. High and tight for a ball. Again, a nice crowd here for this one on a very nice day. Looked like he pulled the string a little bit, popped up, and it goes up in the seats behind the Milton dugout. We finally got a decent day. It just maybe might have hit 70. It was high 60s when I got here earlier. Might get up in the 70s. But a picture of blue sky and sun shining. And nice day at the ballpark. Down and away it goes to the backstop. And it kind of evens the two. Thought about it, didn't pull the trigger, and over but low. I think Foley wanted that one. So he was ahead of. Velasquez, now he's gonna come in with a pitch. Check swing, roll at the third. Nice play by Fallon, getting it over quickly to the first baseman, Walker. That was a little excuse me swing. Now back to the captain, number 24, John Nowicki. John Nowicki was the third of the th three consecutive walks in the first inning. As we mentioned, everything going on at Manning Field. Now it's lacrosse. Low for a ball. Solid shot in the right field for Bay City. Went the other way. So the first hit is John Nowicki with one out in the fourth inning. Hit it sharply, but went the other way with a little inside out swing. Cam McGonigal. The first baseman was a strikeout victim back in the first inning. In for a strike. Up and away for a ball. Waves at that pitch, it broke down and in. Foley got a little bit of help on that swing. Low for a ball. Two two the count to the Spartan first baseman. Hit foul to the backstop. Zach Fisher, the second baseman, is the on deck hitter. Hit 
Long run, nice play by the second baseman. Ryan Kelly with an outstanding play. He had to go way to his left. That was going into right field. He, Kelly takes a base hit away. Going way to his left. Picking that one. Nowicki gets to second base. With two outs, Zach Fisher grounds it out short to first. One of the few outs that hasn't been a strikeout through the first three innings. High for a ball. Spinning, looking to a second, not really throwing. There was nobody really to throw it to. The wiki usually walked back. In for a strike. High for a ball. 3-1 the count. Chops it foul at home plate. The count goes full. Waved at the pitch for strike three. Tried to hold up, couldn't. So Foley has at least one strikeout in every inning. He's got six in the game. And he settled down after that first inning. We completed four, and it's still... Charles Walker's grand slam, the difference. 4 0 Milton over St. Mary's at the end of four. The man of the hour leading him off the fifth inning. Charles Walker is the difference. One, one swing of his bat, a grand slam home run. And that's where we are 4 0 Milton. That was the, the one inning. They got five straight hits. Swing and a miss. Five straight hits. There was a hit after Walker's home run, but then Bridges retired the next three, but five straight hits inning, and they were solid hits, especially Walker's home run. It went over the left center field fence, and that that's a long way away. Low for a ball. One, two, the count. Walker was the first baseman. Well, he tied into that hit. He hit a shot and a half. Hit in the air deep again. Backing up, now coming in a few steps. is Donahue to make the play. So Walker got all of that one as well. Walker's hit the ball hard three times. His first one was a hard shot right to the shortstop Cabral. The home run and now the hit that one a ton. Owen McHugh. Big hop to Cabral. Gets it over there in a hurry. McHugh had grounded a third and singled. He got the fifth straight hit. In that third inning. Oh. 
Oh, Jack Finnegan tripled, fly to the right. His triple was to left field. His fly was to right field. Hits it foul off to the right side. On the inside corner, a good pitch by Bridges handcuffed him. One, two, the count. Down to that grassy knoll up behind first base, out of play. Missed inside. And we got our first deuce as well. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. High and tight for a ball. Hit off the first baseman's glove for a base hit going into right field. So Finnegan's got his second hit. McGonagall went down and tried to field it. Hot shot the other way. Got a glove on it, slowed it down, but it skipped out into the outfield. Ryan Dexter. Ryan Dexter got hit by a pitch and fly to right field. Hit to short. Cabral, the easy pitch to Fisher. So Milton is down in the top of the fifth. And we'll move into the bottom of the fifth. It'll be eight, nine, and one. Jason Donahue, Justin Jennings. Back to the top of the order, Tad Giardina. To face Brian Foley, who will be starting his fifth inning of work. He's given up one base hit. He walked four, three in a row in the first inning, but he settled down after that. He retired six in a row after those three walks. Then he walked Cabral, but Cabral got thrown out trying to steal. And he gave up the one hit to Nowicki with one out in the, the fourth inning. Nowicki made it as far as second base before the strikeout ended the inning. He's got six strikeouts in four innings. So he's been involved in seven of the outs. He caught the pop-up to start the first inning. Jason Donahue struck out swinging his first up at bat. Left number four, Jason Donahue. Missing wide for a ball. Foley is throwing a few pitches. Hit second. Easy play for Kelly over to Walker. Quick out in the bottom. Josh Doney is going to pinch hit for Justin Jennings. Doney's Doney. a ninth grader hitting for the eighth grader. J 
Jennings had struck out his one trip, hitting for Bridges, the pitcher. High for a ball. Tony came in and pitched three innings against Alistair Cassidy the other night and got the win. Doing a nice job. He's all lefty. Hits lefty, throws lefty. Wide for a ball. Hi, Chopper. That's going to be tough. Nice play by the shortstop. McHugh had a really high, I mean, that was a high, I'll date myself, a high Baltimore chop. And the shortstop, McHugh had to get rid of it very quickly and a nice stretch by Walker. And there's two outs in the fifth inning. Chop foul behind home plate. Yeah, Giardina. Giardina hit a little pop up to the pitcher out to the first base side. And then he hit a shot to left center field. And the left fielder, Jack Finnegan, made a nice running catch to take extra bases away. And quickly it's 0 2. He gets hit. Jack Marks, the right field, was the hitter. He struck out twice. Once call, once swinging. Down and in for a ball. Swing and a miss. One one the count. Nice stop by the second baseman. Two nice plays by Kelly. Made a great play before, and now he makes that nice play going way to his right. He has finished five here at Fraser Field. Milton, four, fingers up. That looked like a base hit. Kelly takes it away. St. Mary's is down. We finished five here at Fraser Field. The difference still, the grand slam by Charles Walker. Four nothing Milton going into the sixth inning. Bottom three in the order for Milton as we start the sixth inning. Greg Domino, the right fielder, struck out, bounced it in with fielder's choice. Hitting the ball to the second baseman. In for a strike. Bridges starting his sixth inning of work. Hit foul. Up in the seats. Quickly, 0 and 2. Wave for strike three. Picked up. And they'll throw him out. And Wiki took his time making sure. The second baseman, number two, 
Ryan Kelly. Third strikeout for Bridges. Two of them were Domino. The other one is Ryan Kelly. Struck out, bounced out, third to first. Off the wiki. We're in the top of the six, four nothing Milton in this interleague battle. Chop to his first base, kicks foul. Kelly's yeah, made a couple of nice plays at second base defensively for the Wildcats of Milton. In for a strike. Count goes one and two. Didn't miss by much. Kelly took a long look at that one to make sure it was outside. Count evens at two. Hit the shot. Cabral with another play. Two quick outs in the sixth. Center field number 16, Marcus Oliveri. Cabral's made five plays in the game defensively. Marcus Oliveri has got two hits, two singles, and he scored a run. Now he's got three hits. Takes the turn. He'll go in standing up with a double. That extends the sixth inning with the two out double, and it brings up the top of the order. Jimmy Fallon hit a line shot that Giardina took away out in left center field. Would have been extra bases. He got a base hit and scored a run in that walked around on the home run. And he controversially, they called him safe on the play at first base on a ground ball to third. Then they talked it over and got together with the plate umpire and they called him out. So Milton's been on the short end of two... Two calls by the umpires. They straightened one out. Interference, they didn't give the run home, but they straightened out because he scored on the home run. So it all's well that ends well. But they weren't happy with the other call. In for a strike. Because it was the second, it would have been first and second with one out. Instead it was a runner a second with two outs. And they get out of the inning. Hit fouls to the backstop. One ball, two strikes. To the Milton third baseman. Hit in a right center field. It's going to drop for a base hit. And that'll be a run. So Fallon gets his second hit, gets an RBI. And Oliveri, who's three for three, comes in and scores his second run. And that gives Foley another run to work with as it's now five to nothing. And Shea Donovan is lined to left field, singled and scored. Round of the third. High for a ball. So he's one for three with a run scored. The runner takes off. He got a great jump. No way they're going to throw him out.
He was gone almost before Bridges threw the ball. The wiki threw a strong throw. It was closer than I thought it was going to be. But Fallon got a great jump at first base. In for a strike. So Bridges has been ahead of everybody in this inning, but he gave up the double to Oliveri and then the, the two out shingle. So Milton with a little bit of two out lightning. On the corner for a strike. So now the count is one and two. Down the right side, long run for Mark. She's not going to get there if it's out of play. Before that fly ball, we had a host of red Milton shirts down in that right field corner. We had warm up action. We had two players covering so that they wouldn't get hurt with a foul ball. And fought. We had a couple of others in foul in the, the grassy no warming up. Now there's nobody down there. Hit in the air to right field. Mox on the run over the shoulder makes the catch. <laughs> Had to go a long way. Donovan hit that a long way the opposite way. Mox makes the nice running catch. Five and a half. Milton five so Milton adds to the lead. They get a run. As Oliveri gets the, that two-out lightning double and scores on the two-out single by Fallon. They get two more hits. And Foley will take them on for the sixth inning. Now leading it five to nothing. And it will be three, four, and five for St. Mary's. Avon Cabral, Tommy Falaska join the wiki. The middle of the order for St. Mary's. Foley's been tough. Walked three in a row in the first inning, but that was with two outs, got a big strikeout to get out of it. Since then, he's there have only been three base runners. A two-out walk in the third, a one-out single in the fourth, and a two-out hit batsman in the fifth. Leading off for St. Mary's at the bottom of the fifth. The shortstop number 15, Avon Cabral. So St. Mary's has had six base runners. Four of them got hit by a pitch. Uh, four of them walked, and one got hit by a pitch. So Foley has walked four. Two of them have been to Cabral, who steps in the box. Havens played very well at shortstop. He's made five plays in the infield. Low for a ball. Two on the count to the spot in shot stop. On the inside corner, evens the count at two. Down the way. Three and two. Yeah. 
Cabral was on his way to first base. The umpire says strike three. Seven strikeouts for Foley. Tony Velasco walked, ground to the third. He's played very well in the infield. Made four nice plays in the first strike. In the first strike. Tosca is one of the juniors that Terry Kane will be happy to have back next year. He's, he plays third, but he also pitches. They'll have him and Bridges and Donnie. Donnie. Swing and a miss for strike three. Eight strikeouts for Foley and trip out to the mound. I'm not sure what this is all about with two outs. John Nowicki has walked and singled. The wiki is the only hit. He punched a shot into right field. He walked his first time out, so he's one for one against Foley. They checked with the base on, but said, no, he didn't swing. As two and zero, oh. in for a strike on the inside corner. Waves at that pitch, and we got deuces wild. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. New week is another one, Junior. Another. Catcher, but also another pitcher coming back. So we have a lot of arms coming back next year. As he, that pitch was in the catcher's glove when he swung at that pitch. So talk about Foley getting a little bit stronger. He strikes out the side. We finished six. St. Mary's down to the last three outs. Milton well on their way to 13 wins as they lead it five to nothing. At the end of six. Three, four, five for Milton as we start the seventh inning. And again, the man of the hour stepping into the box, Charles Walker. Hit a grand slam in the third right, inning. For four RBI, and that was the difference until they scored the, the one run they just got in the sixth inning. He's knocked in four of the five. Takes it high for a ball. He grounded a shot, a solid shot to Cabral getting thrown out. His home run over the left center field fence, a ton. And the last time up, a fly to deep left field that Donahue had to go back and get go backing away from home plate in deep left field. So he's hit three shots, and one of them got him four RBI. On the inside corner for a strike. St. Mary's new coming in that they had a, a hard test against a very good Milton team. Swing and a miss. We told them they played Austin Prep. The ace of Austin Prep, who is one of the better teams, pitchers in Massachusetts or in New England maybe, and they lost one to nothing. Chop behind home plate, foul. Walker stays alive. Made a couple of nice stretches at first base, getting throws.
Another solid shot to left field over everybody. And it's gone again. The exact same spot he hit the other one. I told you we haven't seen one. I don't remember the last time we saw two without. We've never seen two by the same guy. He'll certainly want a copy of this tape. That the exact same spot as he hit the first one over the left center field fence. I, if memory serves, he used to have a sign up. I think it said 305 down the left field line. So that's got to be close to 340 or more. I think Bridges is coming out, and we're going to have a pitching change. Tommy Falasco will be the new pitcher. Bridges, the pitcher, will go to third so base. Owen McHugh is grounded to the third, singled and grounded to the short. And he'll be the first batter that Falasco faces. High for a ball. So Bridges goes six. The six runs are earned. He gave up 11 hits, five of them. Back to back to back in that four run third inning as it's popped up to right field. Marks will make another play out there for the first out. He struck out three and hit a bat. He didn't walk anybody. Jack Finnegan tripled, fly to right, singled. High for a ball. Way in tight for a ball. Finnegan made that nice catch on Giadina. Back in the third inning. Taking extra bases away. Going over to left center field, making the running catch. Foul tip held on to by Nowicki. The count evens the two. Slice to right field. Mox decided to come in, backs up over the shoulder, makes another play. That's his fifth play in right field. They've been keeping him awake out there. Ryan next to the DH, get hit by a pitch, fly to right, bounced in and will field his choice. Hit up the middle, here's Cabral with another great play and they didn't come up with it. Gone will try to get out and get look like it look like it hit him in it. he's holding his throwing hand like it, it hit him, bounced off. The arrow will extend the inning. Looked like Cabral made a great play. Got it over there. Couldn't come up with the throw. And we're going to get a replacement, I think. Ryan Freer is coming in. Ryan Freer will go to first base. Ryan Freer now playing first base. Now back in the right field in number 19, Greg Domino.
Craig Domino was struck out, bounced to a field of choice, and struck out, being thrown out at first by Nowicki. I don't know if that's lacrosse or field hockey over at, I think it's field hockey at Mayfield. I, think, I thought it, I said lacrosse, I think it's field hockey. Lacrosse. Now I guess it is lacrosse. Popped up. Cabral behind second base, calls Fisher off and makes the play. So we finish the top of the seventh with another home run by Charles. And we'll move into the bottom of the seventh. And St. Mary's needs a boatload. It's six nothing Milton as we move into the bottom of the seventh inning. We'll be the new pitcher. The third baseman, Fallon, goes to short. And it looked like number six, Finnegan, the left fielder, will go to third base. Ryan Freer, who went into play first base when McGonagall took that throw on the, on the arm, is up for the first time. Missing wide for a ball. So Foley does his job. He goes six, gave up one base hit, struck out nine, hit a batter. He walked four, but one of them was thrown out stealing. And three of those walks came back to back to back in the first inning with two outs. In for a strike. After that three walks in the first inning, through the only other hit is to reach was a two out walk that got thrown out trying to steal, a one out single, and a two out hit batsman. So Fred draws a walk. Zach Fisher's round the shot was called out on strikes. Uh, struck out swinging, excuse me, when he tried to hold up. And they're going to get a runner at first base, I think. Michael Domeno. Michael Domeno, page one. Wide for a ball. Hit foul out of play. Hit foul again. Call third strike on the outside corner. Good pitch by McHugh. The left fielder, number four, Jason Donahue. Jason Donahue was struck out, grounded out second to first. Missing inside for a ball. It's 
place file a little late swing. Swing and a miss. Good fastball. Didn't have a chance to get around on that one. So after a walk, back to back, call strikes. Here's another last out. Josh Doney came in as a pinch hitter. Grounded out, shot to first. He'll face McHugh for the first time. In for a strike. Down and in for a ball. On the corner for a strike, and Milton one strike away from getting a Baker's dozen, 13 wins. Call third strike, Miku comes in and strikes out the side. So 12 strikeouts for Milton, nine of them by Foley who gets the win on the mound. McHugh comes in and strikes off the side. Foley walks four, but one of them is thrown out stealing. Hit a batter. Gave up one hit. Struck out nine. And kept St. Mary's off the board. The closest St. Mary's came. Back-to-back-to-back to back to back walks with two outs in the first inning. After that, they had a walk in the, in the third, a one-out single in the fourth. The walk got thrown out trying to steal. And then a hit batsman with two outs. In the fifth, Foley and McHugh retire seven of the last eight. The leadoff walk in the seventh, is, that was the other, the fourth, uh, fifth walk that St. Mary's had. And Milton will go to 13 and two. St. Mary's will have to wait. They play Stang in the Central Cup on Monday, I believe, at Stang. They'll have to wait for that one for the 10th win to officially get in the state tournament. For St. Mary's, Cabral had a great game at shortstop, walked twice. Velasca played extremely well at third base, drew a walk. John Nowicki had a walk and the only base hit. Ryan Freeman is one at bat, drew a walk, and that was it for St. Mary's. Velasca and Cabral were outstanding defensively, but it was the fourth thing that did the damage. Oliveri led with a single. Fallon got a base hit. Donovan got a base hit. The bases were loaded. Charles, Charles Walker emptied it with a grand slam home run. And that was all Milton needed. That was 4 nothing. They added a run in the fifth. Oliveri got his third hit, a double. And with two outs, Jimmy Fallon got a base hit to knock him in to make it five. And then Walker did it again. Leading off the seventh inning, he drilled another long home run over the left center field fence. The exact spot he hit the first one to make it Six, and that was the final score, six to nothing. For Milton, Jimmy Fallon had two base hits, scored a run, knocked in a run. Shay Donovan had a base hit and scored a run. Owen McHugh had a base hit. Jack Finnegan had a triple and a single. Ryan Kelly played extremely well at defensively at second base, as did the shortstop when he was there, McHugh. Marcus Oliveri. Had two singles, a double, scored two runs, and we leave the best for last, Charles Walker. Two home runs, a grand slam and a singleton. He scores two, knocks in five. He was involved in the majority. All but one of the runs were scored or knocked in by Charles Walker. A grand slam and a home run, both in the same spot in left center field, and he didn't get cheated 
He got all of both swings and knocked it out of the park. First time I've seen anybody hit two out of this park, and we haven't had one hit in a long time. So 6 nothing, Milton. They'll go to 13-2. and two. St. Mary's will drop to 9-6. and six. As St. Mary's gets shut out 6 to nothing by the Milton Wildcats. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.